this was uh let's see what are we doing over here over here so i thought i saw that uh dmx uh he was back in the news and it was it sucked to to see that he checked himself back in the, to rehab but it's actually a dope thing because you know he did it himself it wasn't that he had necessarily relapsed but you know right. he apologized and and you know he was basically looking out for himself i think that's actually yeah, good for him that's really dope i um, mean self-awareness you know what i'm saying for him yeah, to be able to do aspect. that uh but I, it made me think also because there have been a lot of these kids younger rappers um you know overdosing you know kids passing away so do we think that dmx being able to do that do you think that might start a trend for some of these people that are out here you know what i'm saying like heavy battling addiction you know just in the hip-hop community itself do you think it might start a trend for some people maybe having a little more accountability and trying to get to the point where they can do this themselves because that's big of him mm. to be able to do that. You think that might set an example? That's a good good question. I honestly don't know. Uh, do the do the kids that are heavily in that that's their culture of music and lifestyle? Do they listen to DMX like that? Uh, that's you know good. what I mean. Yeah, like I, I guess that, that, like if they have a decent respect for him, then maybe. But. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't have anything else. I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I mean, it's a, you know, it's the OG thing. Do people? We always talk about the younger generation. Do they truly, um, you know, respect the OGs or even pay attention to some of the things they do as they get older? So, I just thought it might be something that I think it's a damn good example. You know, for someone that might pay attention. Um, it was great to see that he checked himself in. I mean, as opposed to like him having another issue or something. So, it does kind of show that he's aware of like the signs and you know maybe i guess what you think uh Jay do? you think it's a possibility it might be setting a good example maybe some of the young kids might try to you know follow in those footsteps i mean it is setting a good example but in the same token i don't i mean everything is a case-by-case -case situation right i don't think that him doing that is necessarily going to make somebody that's already using or already on that path to where they should have been in rehab do that per se. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Because he, he had a, he had something telling him he need he needs to do it before it gets bad. So, True. I mean, that's solid. I mean, it's a good example, but I don't know when people are, are deep into addiction, it's very hard for them just to, you know what I'm saying? Just see somebody else is doing well and decide they're going to do that. They have to find that in themselves to do it. I'm not mad at that. That's, that's a good answer. Spools, you got anything to, to throw in on that? Yeah, I don't know if it's going to have that impact or not, but if it does, it's, I mean, I hope it has more than just within the rap community. Like yeah, I mean, yeah. Everybody, I, yeah. like, you know, hearing about that, like anyone <clears throat> who's, you know, hears that and gets inspired to uh, to go and do that, I think is would be great, but I probably, I, mean, I don't know. I would hope so, but right. probably probably not. Yeah, I, I could dig it. Jay yeah. Moore, you got two cents for that? I don't think so. You don't think so? Not okay. at all. People, we, there are certain people that enjoy their addiction, and they don't even see it as a problem. It's what they do that's for recreation. That's the thing about that, I mean, that's really kind of the thing with addiction, you know? I mean, it's like a, it's deeper, you know, like right. the alcoholism or the, or the drug addiction is only like the symptom of what the addiction is right. or the root of everything, so... I feel like you, the people probably would have to be at a different place to to fully be jump to, into it to be and able to, to do that to yeah. be accountable for it. So, and that's I think that's a good point. Actually, you know, when you talk about, uh, it's not like he did this overnight. Like DMX has been, we've seen the the whole thing. You know what I'm saying in terms of sure. his entire process. So, you know, it's I guess I'm not saying that somebody can get there tomorrow, but it's just like to be able to see someone actually be able to oh, get to think? that point. I actually think, I think there will be some people that are moved by it. Um, and it might just at least, it might at least spark the idea in their mind that it can happen. You know, it's good to see success stories, I think. And sometimes that inspires people. So, um, I could see a handful of people being inspired by this and then taking the steps to go towards that. You know what I mean? Like, again, it's not overnight, but I could see, you know, a handful of people doing it. Yeah, this you know is I mean? the thing too. Um, DMX has fell down and bumped his head numerous amounts of right. time. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of people that nothing has ever happened to them, other than their addiction. They've never been 
to prison. They've never been in trouble with the law. Um, they don't have cases pending and things like that. They're just, their thing is that drug or whatever they're addicted to. So they feel like they're in a better place. This is just kind of how some people that are addicted to things think. Right. Since everything else is going well, I mean, I can do this. You know, I can handle it. I can jump in and jump out whenever. But unfortunately, it doesn't end well. Right. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. So um, I don't know, man. Good point. That's a good point. Well, just think about this is the way it, it's it's seen by it, by people. Um in the public sometimes think about how we always made jokes about bobby brown through like the late 90s right and you know because he and whitney were doing what they did but that whole time ricky bell was on the point where he almost uh od'd and yeah. we didn't know that until the new edition movie came out i never knew that we never heard anything yeah. been about his drug use so some people handle their scandal differently and so they don't see it as, as a problem that, you know, luckily I'm, I'm glad for DMX because I'm a fan. I, I want 100%. him to be out here. Yeah, 100%. But, you know, if it comes between him making appearances or saving his life, I'll take saving his life. I, I don't think people, um, you know, truly understand, like, DMX at his apex, like how big of a star dude was. You know what I mean? Like, he would at his, in his, at his peak – Dude was on a different level, well, maybe man. Maybe not younger people, but I mean. Yeah, like he's, dude had a hell of a career before, you know, some of those things started to happen. Like he was, he dropped two cold albums in one year, man. Like we all remember that. Like he already he was, was still, like doing, like he had already been in and out of prison right. before he even came out. So this is something he's been battling for as long as we've even known DMX. And like he's probably at the point now where he's like, I don't want to go back in there. Right. You know? That's yeah. a hard pill to swallow, having to go back and forth to jail yeah. multiple times over the span of 20 years. But, you know, one of the worst things that can happen to someone who already has addiction issues is then all of a sudden they send, they sell 10 million records and become very, very rich. And then they get $10 million for a movie. Yeah. So now adding to the fact that they have substance abuse problems, now people give them drugs. They right. don't even have to go buy them anymore. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. So we wish him well. We hope everything, um, you know, continues to go well with him. Because, uh, like I said, it was real dope to see that. So prayers go out to him and his family, man. Hope that he can get everything right and continue on the path he was going on because he got out, started doing some shows, and seemed, seemed to be in the right yeah, direction. Yeah, I seen him when he came here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I didn't get a chance to catch it. But, mm -hmm. you know, I saw some clips. Like he was still, you know, in his bag performing. So, you know, that's dope to see.